Hi there, this is Marcus, welcome to this tutorial. And if you're gonna follow along, we're gonna create a racetrack visualization that exactly matches onboard footage. We're gonna learn how GLayers handles features with time information. I have a pretty sick example here because um, guys over at RoboRace hooked me up with some onboard footage and data of one of their self-driving race cars. So let's jump into this. First, I'm gonna import the footage and make a comp from it. So, great, like there's no driver. Uh, super interesting project. Okay, and we have some data. So the data comes in the spreadsheet here. And yeah, the important columns are latitude, longitude, g -layers needs that. And one more thing here is chord time, which means like coordinate time. So if you have like a column called chord time, chord times, or just simply time, or anything that contains the term time, then GLayers is gonna try to use it for like the timing of the coordinates. And when I import this file, um, and I'm gonna double click it, uh, we get a bunch of things. So we got points representing like each row in this spreadsheet. And we get a feature here, which is like all the points connected. And as I click the feature properties, you can see this checkbox, use coordinate times for animation. That means that GeoLayers actually has detected times for each coordinate. And you can now say, oh, no, I don't want to use them. Or yes, that would be actually pretty cool to use those exact times if I create an animation based on this feature. Okay, let's create a map. I'm gonna click into the timeline panel that this is our active composition. And if that one is active and I click create map comp, it's gonna like use all the specs from this comp uh, by default. So that's our resolution, that's the duration. And I'm gonna call it robo race here. And I'm gonna make this smaller. So 640 by 320 should be good. And I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna choose some satellite imagery, but I think we won't use it, but Let's create the map come first. It's like good reference. Now I double click the feature again to fit my map come view. And I'm gonna adjust this a bit. There we go. And I would of course like to draw like the course, uh, the racetrack here. So let's create a few shape layer styles. I'm gonna hit remove styles because we're going to like uh, create new ones. I would like to have the course like three pixels. We're gonna call this track. And I'm gonna duplicate the style, uh, remove the dashes, make this a bit wider, like seven pixels. Use a different color here. I'm gonna pick a green one here. I'm gonna call it car. Cool, let's hit apply. Now first, let's see which options are on here. Um, inside map comp, I don't wanna draw inside my map comp, but in the containing comp. Um, and I don't wanna do like auto stroke width because we're not gonna zoom in and out in this map, so I can switch that off. And by selecting the track style here, I'm gonna draw our feature. Now you can see it here. We do have some overlapping here, uh, which I don't like, so let's fix that one. I'm gonna duplicate this feature by holding Alt and dragging it just below here, and I'm gonna open the feature properties here. And we're gonna trim the feature here. So um, yeah, as you drag those sliders here, you can see that you can trim the feature and by zooming in, can make this point by point. And we're gonna close the line here. So I'm gonna call this feature trimmed and hit apply. 
So let's remove the shape layer here and draw this again. And it worked. We don't have any overlapping going on here and it looks way better. So now the cool thing comes up. I'm going to select the not trimmed feature here. I will switch off simplify geometry because we want to have our timing as exact as possible. If we would simplify the geometry, there would be two points, one here and one here, since this is just a straight line. And these two points would have time information. So there would just be a linear movement from here to there in this time. But we have some acceleration and like breaking gone on here. To really visualize this, we simply switch off simplified geometry. I'm going to use the car style here and with the feature selected, I click animate feature path. What we can see here, I'm going to um, collapse this. What we can see here, there's like loads of keyframes and those keyframes are now trimming our path exactly according to the timing of our data. If our composition was not long enough, so the comp duration was not long enough, then the real timing, then GLAs would use a default animation uh, duration, but the relative timing would be kept in place. That means that this is going to match our footage here. So I don't need my reference anymore, so I'm going to switch off the imagery and of course also the labels so that we have this nice graphical visualization right here. And I'm going to adapt the view a bit, maybe like this. So that's it. We just visualized our racetrack perfectly synchronized to the onboard footage. Just keep in mind that you don't need CSV data like in this example. A very common format of geospatial data with time information is GPX files. You can export them from various trackers or apps. So thanks for watching, goodbye.